Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. Uber actors and actresses are currently celebrating as one of them has yet to join the game, the list of landlords. Funsha Adiolu commenced his acting career since year 1987. It's Antalanio and the group in Festac in Lagos State. He started with stage acting, then progressed to television series on Nigerian Television Authority before going into film acting. He was trained by the veteran actor Antalani, that was the person who brought him also into the movie industry. And by 1989, he featured in a television series that brought him into the limelight. Apart from being an actor, Fon Shaw is also a producer and a director. He is also a multiple award winning actor. I mean, he won the Best Actor in a Lead in an English movie. At the Best and Only Awards in 2013, he was nominated at the City People Movie Awards for Best Actor of the Year Yuba category in 2014. He was also nominated at the City People Movie Awards for Yuba Movie Personality of the Year, Mew, in 2017, also nominated at the City People Movie Award for Yuba Movie Personality of the Year, also Mew, 2018, and he won the City People Movie Special Recognition Award in 2018. He's a talented role interpreter. He takes on different characters in movies, roles of king, husband, chief, villager, police officer, corporate guy, lover, and many other roles. And at the beginning of this year, 2022, this actor is celebrating and he says that this is his year of thanksgiving. Don't limit a limitless good. He also shared just a small part of his house on his official social media platform, a small part of his living room. And his colleagues are celebrating him on the acquisition of this new lovely home. Congratulations to Fonsha Diulu. For those who may ask or for those who may want to know more about this veteran Yuba actor from Shaodiulu, please stay with us for a short biography and also some hidden facts in his interviews. This star Yuba actor is an award-winning one who features in both the English and Yoruba genre. He's an actor, director, producer, MC event effect provider and the live band singer. He's also the CEO of Finest Media. Oshadiulu Adegeye was born on the 6th of May 1968 to so the family of Mr. and Mrs. Adegeye in Lagos State, but originally is from Ondo State. He attended the nursery school in Surulere, part of Lagos State, and his primary education was at Lady Lack Primary School in Ibuti Meta. After his primary education, he also attended Ansaru Dean College at Isola for his O levels before he proceeded to Baptist Academy at Obanikuru for his A levels which is known as the Higher School Certificate. On obtaining this HSC, he decided to take some crash courses, which included journalism. Afterwards, he furthered his education at the Ondo State University in Odoikiti, where he studied guidance and counseling. He is married to Victoria Diolu, and they are blessed with two sons. As I mentioned, he commenced his acting career in 1987 with the Antalanio and the group in Festac Town. As earlier mentioned, he was also trained by this veteran actor and Talania. The TV series Palace was his virtual movie as it opened doors for him. He started getting rewarding projects. Afterwards, he started getting movie roles featured on the popular TV series Super Story. Funsho has directed, produced, and acted in several movies, including this one's Cool Red, Things Fall Apart, Camouflage, My Guy, Jesu Mushi Arewa, Ogede Didu, Arewa Kori, Jawon Be, 419 Dangerous Game, 6. In your camera, 50 million, who in fair, who in fair, who could tell us, who playing games. I be fair, Jen Bettyelli, Drew Dollar, a toy cuckoo, who can't she be, who look for me, Sababi, Taniki in fair, a large yard bar. I will be any docketer library, a libute, a sue, father's I am me, Iliaji, Yawasiku, or that you be me, or mommy, Tani Cabe. Aba ni daru alopa aje asiko mi le yi edun jo bi ekuro adeye mi eleda teju eni odudu etan inu bibi opo ife yi jide olugbari ori ta ipin ya pota shekere iboju ido ti oju ma fi won mi to mo ti ya asiri owo esin ori laye ida mojo kan the antic gongri the tribuna alamba diva alagbara ayoko Babdo Uyi, Ugoji, Liri Olua, Game Boy, Black Line, In the Streets, Deep Heat, Last Day, Silenced, and Sugar. Just to mention a few of them. On his personal life, Isaiah mentioned his marriage to Victoria Adeolu. 
who was asked in an interview how the met and he had this to say. We met somewhere in Surulu area of Lagos the day I was standing in front of an office when I saw the lady looking so original and simple. She had a natural hair. I found her attractive and approached her for friendship. From there, we moved things to a higher level the following year. And if it was love at first sight, he had this to say. No, it was not love at first sight for me. We started out as friends and over time, things grew between us. I wanted to understand her more before I started anything with her. So I took my time with her and allowed us to both enjoy our friendship. But what attracted him to her? A simplicity. I got attracted to her because she's simple, natural and original. I also like the fact that she was living with her parents and her family was together. And from a broken home. I don't want that experience for my children. I fought my own battles. What in my part what in my partner was unable to deal with her childhood trauma and grew with it. So for me it was important that I married someone who was from a regular home. On how he proposed, they dated for eight years, they were friends all too. And in his words, it was like I was friends with a regular guy and we were like pals related on every level. He that proposed marriage to her, I just said, babe, what are we waiting for now? Let's get married. We didn't have the fanfare, but what we did was more romantic to me. He was asked for his recipe for a lasting marriage in his opinion. The background has to be good. My wife and I pray together a lot. Also, friendship with one spouse is important. My wife and I are very good friends. We are always on the same page. Perseverance is also a secret to a lasting relationship. One must be able to take all nonsense from one spouse. The same way one would take whatever one's child does for one and accept him or her. That is the same way one should be able to take all sorts from one's wife. Your wife will hit you on the head with a hammer and you don't even dodge it. You take pain relief behind her, still smile at her. It is okay when it is time. You let her know. It also entails giving. You give a lot in marriage. And for his advice for young people who are about to get married, you should be careful about their choice of partner. You shouldn't be materialistic and all that. They should not let love get into their head. Ladies should marry a promising and hardworking man. Also ensure that the person is your friend so that you can communicate well. Lastly, pray well about it before you get married. Don't prompt it. Don't let anyone decide your partner for you. Get married is the first thing. Making the home work is the second thing. Be sure of what you want in a home and have a mentor who also has a working home. It takes a lot of work from the man because the one is always on the ground. But the man is always hiding his emotions. So this is a little bit about the star actor from Shadulu. Come to the end of this episode where from Shadulu unveils his new multi-millionaire home and says, Don't limit a limitless God. This is my year of Thanksgiving, for real. Congratulations once again to the star Yuba actor from show at We hope you enjoyed this episode and learned one or two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.